Hey everyone, Ardwick here, and welcome back to Portal. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here, considering I've already beaten the game. Well, I've said earlier that I expressed interest in, um, doing some advanced courses of the bonus maps. And that's what I'm here to do today. The challenge maps, I don't even know what those are. I'll have to figure this out, eventually. Let's see, import bonus map. Might have to look into the import bonus map, too. I don't know anything about that. But, for now, we've got some enhanced hell to go through. So, I believe I'm ready for some enhanced hell. The floor is goo and there's only one box. Oh, dear. I imagine having advanced courses of the first 12 stages would be pointless, considering, um... Considering they're pretty much tutorial levels, anyway. Okay. Got it. First of all, to ensure the who knows safe if performance of all authorized activities do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Okay. Well, who knows if I'm going to need this, so I might want to bring this with me, just in case. I wouldn't put it past them to have that actually be a, the solution to a puzzle. Well, before I do anything else, let me see what's actually in here. Okay, the floor is goo. And there's a box over there. And two buttons. Hmm. And a bouncy thingy. There's the receiver. I just hope that, that over there is a, uh is a thing. Okay, so I gotta get up there and I have to land on something when I do. Let's figure out how. Position this so that I'm gonna land on something, I imagine. So... Looks like that'll do. Well, well I gotta be a bit careful. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh, that was close. A little bit less time than that would have counted for a fail tally. And yes, fail tallies are still happening. I believe it was at 49, so the next fail tally would be 50. By the way, for screw you. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Blah blah. Safety my foot. Alright, well, the first part of the solution is a bit obvious. Okay. Well, we've got that platform moving now, which means it's probably safe to go grab that block. And one of the blocks must go on that while I must stand on the other one. Hmm. I'm really gonna have to jump to get that. Bl I guess I will, considering there's no other way off this platform. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! By the way, is there a way to get another block if this one goes away in the water? Because, uh, I don't see any other way. Holy hell, the game wouldn't, would it? The game wouldn't make it so that a test becomes unsolvable with a simple mistake, would it? Oh, hell. Um. Okay, we gotta get that block up there, and there's, you know, there's no real way to do that, logically. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to jump towards it. Orange. <laughs> what just happened? Grr. Well, I lost the cube. Buzz. Yep, there's the big 5-0. There we go. Not bad so far. Get off the... Thank you. Alright, let's try this again. Ha! 
took me a second to realize whether or not that worked. Okay, he's gotten this far. Don't blow it now. There we go. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Certain objects may be vital to your system. Oh, shush. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Well, that was number 13, I believe. I got a cupcake. Hmm. I could sure go for a cupcake right now, actually. That sweet, succulent taste. Advanced Chamber 14. Getting to the box is harder, and the moving platforms are removed. Oh my. Okay. What is this? I know I spotted this before, but I don't know what it is. That mysterious blue gunk. Knowing, knowing this game, I wouldn't have been surprised if there was a turret behind that door or something. Okay, you gotta get up there. Well, that didn't change. There was, there was a receiver of some sort. And a cube up there. Well, so far, still the same. Hmm. Ah, damn. Uh, no, no, no. No. Sorry, it's just hard to tell what exactly I'm doing when I'm doing that. My view becomes disoriented. Next thing I know, I can't quite gauge what I'm doing. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if they said there's only one cube or not, but just in case, I should be extra careful with this thing. There we go. Alright, you stay there. That's probably where the advanced stuff comes in. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I see. possibly working is if I put a portal there. Which sounds so ridiculously dangerous. <gasps> like that, you see? Ow. I was expecting it to have a bit more bounce time, but, uh... Okay, I've gotta realize that there's less best time than I realized. Bounce time, rather. You look off-center. There. I don't know if any of you guys can hear it, but I love this ambient music in the background. Okay. Let's try this again. This time, putting, putting the blue portal there to give myself more bounce time. Okay. Go. 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 Remember that the orange portal is back there, so I want to use a blue portal if I want to place down the uh, the thing. 
Okay. Blue portal. Which means you should go right there. I mean there. There. There? Perhaps? There, indeed. Okay, cool. One so bad. So far this has been rather painless, actually. Of course, I'm approaching the harder challenges now. I have unlocked a cupcake! I am a science god! For you see, only science gods get cupcakes. Test chamber 15. I forget if this is the bad one or not. Though, not the bad one. I mean the one that introduced turrets. It's either 15 or 16. Everything has been made more difficult to test your reflexes and cognitive problem solving. Holy crap, I am screwed. I don't even want to think about what they did to test number 18. Oh, oh. Okay, first of all, I gotta get across there. So I'm guessing I have to gain momentum by falling down these. And then, while I'm falling, I have to put a portal there. Which means I have to put a blue portal there, because when I'm falling, I have to rely on falling into this one. Okay. Let's give it a go. First of all, I have to make sure that I'm falling at a regular pace. I'm pretty sure there's an there's a achievement for this if I fall too far. Like, if you reach terminal velocity, I think. I think, I'm not quite sure. Does it really- does it change my tra trajectory every time I move my- my direction? My face? Okay. There, that's a bit more even now. So close. Ha! <laughs> to ensure the safe performance of all authorized Yeah, that's nice. Do well, I'm not going to well, do not don't do not emancipate that. That this might be useful. Okay, there are more emancipation grills than I remember. This one here is new. Okay. So somehow I have to have this bounce into this. And you're my exit. I think. Or are you? I think you're what I think you right here are what that causes. Okay, how the hell does this work? How am I supposed to possibly solve this? Oh, right, 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 right. The ball itself is not emancipated when it hits the emancipation grill. Okay. That makes things a bit more easy. It does, however, affect my timing. So if I hit the ball into there, it'll bounce through there, pass through the grid. Then I have to hit there, and I have to hit there to ensure that the ball goes through there, at which point I have to hit the ball there and there. And I have to move faster than the ball. Okay, I'll let this happen one more time. And then when that completes, I will run in and do that. Um, fail tally count for every time I fail to do this. That's how it'll go officially. Okay. Blue there, orange there. 
Orange there. Go! Damn! get this. There we go. Okay. Take that, Emancipation Grills. Screw you all. Oh dear, there's more. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what they changed up here. For your own safety, do not destroy For your vital own safety, testing apparatus. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, yeah. Okay. Will that really provide the momentum I need? Okay. It won't really, since there's no thing up there for me to really use. Hmm. My goal is to get over this. I have that at my disposal, which means I have to get enough momentum in the air to be able to vault over it. Now. To go through there, which means I probably want to fall from a height. However, if I fall from a height, I won't have any way to access the portal over on that side. Which makes this even more tricky. And this needs to be more even. Jump and not miss. Oh, so close. It may or may not have been emancipated without me seeing it. Hmm. Oh, perhaps if I put it at a distance from the from the uh, the wall there, I will get enough forward momentum so where I don't have to try to position myself once I actually start moving. So if I perhaps get a running j well, what this game would count as a running jump. Leap! Run! I can't tell what's going on. I'm still convinced that what I'm doing is right. I'm just missing. Come on, come on, come on! That's gotta be it. I can't lose that much forward momentum. Momentum.
come. Okay, get a running jump. Have I missed any vital portal surface anywhere in that room? Because if that's not the case, then I don't get it. Jump. I lost my momentum. That's nice. This has to be the correct solution. It has to be. There is no other way I could possibly see this working. Why? Why? Ah, I'm so close, I'm practically hugging the wall. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm too close. Maybe I have to not be nearly as close to the wall when I get out, or I'm hitting the wall too prematurely. Which is resulting in my lost momentum. If that's the case, then all I would have to do is... <laughs> of course, angling myself in the correct position also helps. Now, this is the only place that I can use for that. And if I try to redirect the portal so that I fall infinitely, I lose this one, so I won't be able to make it across. And having myself simply fall through here won't make a difference, because if I try to do that, then... My trajectory... Now, I'm thinking of this crazy solution where if I fall from the ceiling and down there cr multiple times, and then while I'm falling, I put a portal, like, on this wall so that I'm fling towards this one. And then while flying, I put a portal down there so the momentum goes, sends me out the way up to the roof. But that can't be the solution, because I won't have any near, anywhere near enough reaction time. Even if I'm flying in the air, I won't be able to hit this until I come so ridiculously close that I won't have any option to do so. But, I've got nothing to lose, so why don't I give it a shot? There. Now, first of all, I have to figure out which one of these is actually the one that I'm supposed to hit. Now, there's the side of the ledge, right? So, I would supposedly hit this wall, or rather that wall, the one with the panels right there. Yeah, yeah, there is there is no reaction time. Or actually, there is. I'm just doing it wrong. Okay, so orange goes on that one. No, no, no. Blue goes on that wall. Blue. Blue, twirl, orange. Once that stops happening. And I missed. And for the record, it's orange that goes there, not blue. Because I just realized how that works. Okay, yeah, that, alright, so I've tested that, that's not gonna happen. There is no humanly possible way to have that fast of a reaction to me. Not while flying between this wall and that wall and trying to hit this over here. That's not skill, that would be luck. An incredible amount of luck. There is no way the game would force me to do that. Because if the game did force me to do that, I would stop playing this. Because that is ridiculous. It's gotta be that. I just am, must be just like barely short of getting the momentum I need. <sighs> There's the blue one. I'm gonna try putting that all the way at the end and try vaulting it all the way to the end. There! Wow. 
that whole time that actually was that simple. 